the administrative state is anti-constitutional. It's the rule of the few for their own sakes. A distinct and insular class of people, rather than a trained elite, corrupt and distant from the people whom they rule. The administrative state is openly hostile to the Constitution. It allows for myriad methods of policymaking. In reality, at the end of the day, it represents a return to pre-constitutional government. The administrative state today is, rather than the aristocracy that the progressives hoped it would be, simply an oligarchy. It's the rule of the few for their own sakes. A distinct and insular class of people, rather than a trained elite, corrupt and distant from the people whom they rule. They're supported by a coterie of clientele groups who depend upon the modern administrative state for privileges and benefits. The average person in this system is systematically and fundamentally disenfranchised. Policy is not made for his benefit, and he is largely unable to control the machinery of the state. In some, the administrative state is the antithesis of constitutional government and cannot even live up to the expectations of its progressive founders. The administrative state intrudes upon even the minutest aspects of people's lives. The federal government dictates the amount of water that you can have in your washing machine and in your dishwasher. The federal government dictates the content of the light bulbs that light up your house in the evening. They dictate the composition of the spouts on the gas can that you use to fill your lawnmower. They've determined that the ordinary gas can spout allows for too many fumes to escape. And so instead, they created a system which is all but impossible for the ordinary person to use and probably causes more spills anyway. The federal government dictates to the manufacturers of step ladders the angle at which the ladder must be placed when they test it for the sake of determining its weight rating. Meanwhile, we might note, the administrative state seems to be sincerely uninterested in performing the tasks that our founding fathers expected legitimate government to perform. Major cities have chronic amounts of unsolved murders, which they never seem to bother to get to in many cases. The city of Detroit discovered several years ago a backlog of thousands of unprocessed rape kits that took more than a decade to finish. The mayor of Portland, Oregon seems perfectly content to allow Antifa to take over the streets of the city and to enforce the laws themselves. And Portland is one of a number of examples of progressive cities on the West Coast, which also seem perfectly content to allow their cities to become mountains of drugs and human excrement. At the national level, our government, or at least much of our government, seems to be deeply unconcerned for maintaining our territorial integrity in the face of thousands, if not millions, of illegal immigrants coming into the country, and thus unconcerned with protecting the basic sovereignty of the United States. So that's another way that we can think about the anti-constitutionalism of the administrative state. That is to say, it inverts its priorities. It becomes intensely focused on things that legitimate government ought not to do, and it neglects the things that just government should do.